Welcome to yoga. You won't need anything for your practice today, but I highly recommend that you grab a folded blanket from your couch to help support knees and hips. When you're ready, extend your right leg towards the right corner of your mat, bringing the sole of your left foot to your right inner thigh. Turn your body to the right, even scooting your right hip back so you can square off to your right foot. With your hands on both sides of your right leg, lengthen through your spine and hinge at your hips to slowly fold your body over your right leg and you might not go very far today. It's not about how this looks, but how it feels. So find the place where you can still breathe, where you can face the sensation, the intensity of this pose, and where you can find peace and comfort, even within the discomfort. How are you showing up for yourself today and every day? It's normal when you're feeling awful to try to fix it and feel better. But sometimes there is no quick fix. Sometimes you need to let yourself process. And that looks different for everyone. How can you support your process? How can you give yourself space and time and compassion in the same way you would a loving friend? Take a big breath in and out. And then slowly rise and take your time as you switch sides. Drag your right leg back in towards your body. Extend your left leg towards the left corner of your mat placing the sole of your right foot on your left inner thigh. Turn your body to your left foot, even pulling your left hip back. Then lengthen through your spine, hinge at your hips and slowly fold forward over your left leg. Train your body that it can trust you, that you're not going to force yourself into a deeper position, that it does not have to defensively tense up against you. Use tender movements and mindful breaths to hold yourself where you are today and gently coax yourself into relaxing just a little bit more with each deep breath. Grief is surprising in its intensity and longevity. And in the healing process, you may find that there are good days, there are not so good days, And there are times where you are grieving all over again. The best advice 
that I have received in my own grief process is that grief is not linear. Healing is not linear. A bad day does not mean you're going in the wrong direction. It's just how you need to feel and process today. You'll get there. But for now, practice patience and compassion for yourself and your processing on and off your mat. and slowly rise. Drag your left knee in towards your body and place both feet flat on the ground in front of you with your knees bent. Then plant your hands behind you and roll your shoulders open as you lift up to your chest for a couple of deep breaths. Then walk your hands forward and wrap your arms around your legs as you drop your forehead towards your knees for kind of a self hug. Imagine your inhales were drawing in a warm, loving light, an energy that can swirl around the pit in your stomach the break in your heart, the lump in your throat, or wherever you feel it, bringing healing, loving warmth to these areas. And each exhale releasing a cold, bitter darkness, pain that you no longer need. Inhale the love, the light, the warmth. Exhale the pain, the darkness, the cold. Inviting love, releasing pain. and slowly rise. Walk your hands back for another counter stretch, but this time scoot your hips towards your heels for an even deeper opening through your chest and shoulders. Just lift up through your chest, feel your shoulders open. Putting yourself in position to be open to love joy, and gratitude. And take your time as you come out of this position. Meet me in extended child's pose. With your knees as wide as comfortable, your hips down towards your heels, Rest your arms out in front of you and your forehead down on your mat or on stacked fists. And take a big breath in and out. 
Continue to breathe and dig down deep. Find any or all emotions and feelings that you've been denying and take this time to let them spill out of your heart and into your mat. Through your practice, you can process them once you let them see light. So anything else that's left in there, take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale to let it go. And then slowly rise. Find a tabletop position on your hands and knees so your shoulders are stacked over your wrists, your hips are stacked over your knees. Prop up on fingertips to step your right foot forward. Your foot might get stuck, so just grab your ankle with your hand to pull it up, stacking your right knee above your right ankle. And then with your back knee down, sink into your hips slowly coaxing your left hip flexor into waking up and being present today. And if you're asking some of the biggest muscles in your body to relax, make sure you relax the smallest ones you have control over, like the ones in your face, around your eyes and jaw. Curl your back toes under and lift your back knee up in a low lunge position. Feel free to rock forward and back, getting into all the muscles in your hips. And fine movement is a way to work through and process emotions in motion. When you're ready, step or hop your back foot forward into a forward fold at the top of your mat, but take your feet wider than usual. Hip distance, or even wider with a big bend in your knees, hang heavy. With your head hanging heavy and your shoulders relaxed, just follow the motion as your breath travels up and down your spine. Then inch your feet in closer towards each other about hip distance with a deep bend in your knees, pull your belly up and in, tuck your chin and slowly unroll all the way up to standing, stacking one vertebra at a time. Eventually when your shoulders roll open and your chin rises up, Stand tall through the crown of your head and bring your hands together at heart center. And take a big breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Again, in through your nose as if you were smelling sweet roses. Out through your mouth as if you were blowing out candles. One more time in. And out. Seal your lips and continue to breathe sweetly and slowly with your hands together at heart center and your eyes gently closed. With your loved one on your heart and mind, set an intention to dedicate the movement in this next series to your loved one. 
Blink your eyes open. Reach your arms overhead and stretch your body. In the darkness that is grief, look out for sparks of purpose. Even if that purpose today is just to move for or live for your loved one. Then grab onto your left wrist and dive to your right and stretch your whole left side body from your left heel through your left wrist. Each breath opening, relaxing, and releasing just a little more. For three, two, one. Come back to center and then switch sides. Grab your right wrist, dive to your left. Stretching through your whole right side body, anchor down through your right foot and reach through your right wrist. And then come back to center, reaching your arms up. Take a big breath in, stretch through your fingertips as you exhale, swan dive forward, hinging at your hips, bend in your knees, lead with your heart. Open your arms, come all the way down. And rest in your forward fold at the bottom with bent knees. Let your head hang heavy. Process emotion through motion whether in free movement, wiggling around, rocking side to side, or finding motion in your breath. Take your time as you step your right foot back into your low lunge. Keep your right knee lifting and continue to find movement, motion, rocking, any movement patterns you took on the other side. Whatever bubbles up, make sure you let it out. And then lower your back knee down and just sink into your hip. Deepen your breath. Exhaling just a little bit more so you can inhale just a little bit deeper. Using your breath to release tension, to soften your edges, and to create space. And when you're ready, meet me in child's pose, either extended with your knees wide, arms out long in front of you, or a traditional child's pose with your arms down by your sides, palms facing up behind you. And take a big breath in, big breath out. Relax. And feel your loved one's smile shining down on you. The warmth of their love around you. For you are now the keeper of their stories and shared memories. And it is a gift that you gave to them for you to grieve for them so they did not have to grieve for you. Press yourself up to seated. And place your hands on your heart, one on top of the other. And 
This is a place of love and loss that symbolizes a lifeline connecting you and your loved one in different realms together. With this shared love in mind, bring your hands together at heart center and from your loved one to you. Namaste.